Hello, this is Lee Natero. I'll be showing you how to conduct a two-sample t-test on the TI-89. The example that we'll be looking at comes from Chapter 10, Section 2 of the Practice of Statistics. To begin, let's hit Enter on StatList Editor. You can see that I've already entered the values in List 1 and List 2. In List 1, we have the sample data that came from a group of 10 men that took calcium. We're measuring in this list the decrease in systolic blood pressure after 12 weeks. In list 2, we have the group that received the placebo. Positive values indicate a decrease in systolic blood pressure, and negative values indicate an increase in systolic blood pressure. To conduct our test, we're going to hit second, F6, and choose to sample t-test, option four. We don't have the summary statistics, we've entered the raw data, although we could easily calculate the summary statistics if we wished. But we have the raw data, so let's choose data. List one is stored in list one, so I'm gonna hit alpha lock to make it easier to type in the letters that spell out the word list. And list two is stored in list two, once again, I'm going to hit alpha lock to make it easier to type out the letters that spell the word list. The frequency is 1 since each of the values is entered exactly once. And our alternative hypothesis is going to be greater than. We want to see if the mean systolic change in blood pressure for the calcium group is statistically significantly larger than the mean for the placebo group. Um, not for the groups themselves, but if this treatment was to be applied to the entire population, is the mean of group 1 greater than the mean of group 2? Pooled is going to be no, and our results will be calculated and shown on the home screen. Let's zoom in to take a look at what we have here. Here we have a test statistic value of about 1.6, a p-value of 0 0.06, so there's some evidence um, but not strong evidence against the null. And we have our degrees of freedom and our sample means and sample standard deviations. Let's take a look at this sketched on a T distribution. Hit second, F6 again. Once again, choose option four to sample T test. Hit enter. And then scroll down to the very bottom. And we're going to change this to draw. And this will draw the t distribution for us and shade the, the uh, p-value on the diagram. Since this is a one-tail test, our shading will appear in one tail. And the tail will be the right tail, since we chose mu1 greater than mu2. Once again, we can see that our test statistic value is t equals 1.6 and our p-value is 0.06442.